thinking the other day, and I said, you know what, I get this question all the time asked to me, uh, you know, about amplifiers and this and that, and, uh, you know, what amp's better than what, you know, is this amp better than that one, this style, such and such as box, and blah, blah, blah. Well, the thing what it all boils down to, and most of the time when I tell the customer on the phone is, you know, what you're really looking for is, if you're buying a driver box like what I use this for, I use this on my base station, okay, and it's a 2x4, I use it with my hi-fi stuff, so I don't ask a whole lot out of it, and I know I've had it in a couple videos before, and, you know, it doesn't show a whole lot, but it's, you know, I'm running hi-fi, hi-fi, you're not going to get all the watts with it, um, I know what a hot radio into it, what it'll do, I know what my hi-fi, what it'll do, uh, but the, the ticket here is, is how it drives my next amp that's in line. Because in all reality, I could care less if an amplifier is giving me 250 bird, clear all the way up to 500 bird, which I've seen out of this amp with various different radios. The thing that I want out of it is I want it to drive my amplifier, okay? So regardless of what it does on its own is different than, you know, what it's going to do as a driver. And I explain this to people all the time. So I figure what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little test. And I'm going to actually take my amp apart, and I'm going to rebuild it a few different ways for this video. And uh, give you all a uh, look at uh, the various different options that you could do with these amplifiers. So, uh, we're going to get on with the test here shortly. We'll be back. Add on to this video of uh, pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm pretty much just going to change out the output transformers. Um, and maybe do a little bit of tuning to it. Uh, then once I got all that done, we'll throw it on the uh, video and uh, I'll let you see what uh, my reports are. But basically, we're starting with these. Uh, some inch and a half, half inch diameter transformers, which are usually what I use the most in most of my amps uh, for the standard street box. Okay, so as you see, there are inch and a halfs in there right now. Uh, most of these are pretty much some similar to the same ferrite. Um, now when I got into the other ones that I'm going to change out, I'm not going to tell you what ferrite I'm using here because these are ones I make here in the shop. But basically I got a set out of a uh, Dave Mather X-Force or something that I pulled apart in here. I couldn't be certain, 100% sure what they came out of, but I'm pretty sure they use 61. So we're going to go with those and I happen to have a uh, set of inch and a quarter half inch bead 61 sitting here. So we're going to try those out. And then I got these out of another amp, uh, which uh, I'm pretty sure after... Uh, looking the amp over, uh, I'm pretty sure these are 61s also. Um, at least when I did an inductance test, uh, I had um, eight of these that I took out of a guy's amp. And uh, when we did an inductance test, they pretty much measured a 61. So, to be all fair, I figured we'll just do that instead of the mix that I use in my amps most of the time. Uh, but we're going to start off with mine first, and then I'm going to do the various different uh, rebuilds on it with these different transformers. And I'll let you uh, see what we get out of it. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, here's test number one. Uh, we're going to go through this, and I'm not going to break out the scopes or the spectrum analyzers or any other all that crazy nonsense. We're pretty much just going to look at meters um, and go with it from that standpoint. Um, I I'm not going to get into the uh, scopes and all that. Not not in this video. Not when we're going to do amp changing and you know configurations and stuff like that just to see for a driver. Now, just to give you a little insight on exactly uh, what I got going on here, uh, we're going to use my Yezu radio. It more or less acts like a one pill. Um, I figured we'll just use that radio, a little stock mic on it. Um, radio's already tuned out. We got the four pill in line. I've got it hooked down here to my 100 amp power supply. So it's a 100 amp regulated supply. As you see, it's at 14.82 volts right now. Okay. We're going to use this bird meter right here for peak reading. I'm not going to worry about reflect or any of that kind of stuff because I'll have all that tuned out before it gets to this video. But this meter is strictly going to be for peak. Now I have this bird meter up here and this is going to be for bird. Okay, and this is going to show, you know, basically what the four pills putting out for bird and what the four pills putting out for peak. Now what I will have to do, and I'm going to probably have to stop the video to change the slug. But I'm going to change the slug out on this meter. That way we can see how this 4-pill drives the 16-pill. Okay, because in all honesty, I really don't care what the 4-pill shows by itself. I want to know how it drives my bigger amplifier. And that's the, uh, that's the whole thing here. So uh, let's get on with the show. 
So uh, basically, I've got a 250 watt slug in here, and this is just to show you the radio first. And we're dead keen about 10 watts. Now to show you what this radio actually does. Oh uh, yeah, a good 45. That's what we get out of this radio. So with that per se, I'm not even going to bother attempting to pretty much put that slug back in here except for when I'm hooking up different amps. I mean, it shouldn't change because I'm not going to change no settings. But we've got the four pill. We're going to, just to verify that we are still on my original four pill, DEI's in it, and I'm going to use those throughout this whole test. Hopefully we don't have any problems with any other configurations, but we're going to try to attempt to use those DEI's throughout the whole thing. Now, I'm on the 2500 watt slug and 14.82 volts and just to verify with everybody this is a real Dave I mean not Dave but a real bird 43p not one of those gizmos or gadgets that you buy off of flea bay and have all these little stupid switches on it this is actually made by bird corporation this is a 43p meter this is this meter I mainly use on most of my uh, radio testing so let's get on with the show we got a, that in peak, we got that in bird. So, key down, you see where the volts are, no talking. We're almost 200 watts. Now, uh, yeah. So about 800 on the peak. Uh, yeah. So almost 350, I dabbed about 320. Okay, and that's what we get out of this. Now, give me a second. I'm going to flip flop some slugs, put a 5,000 in 16, and uh, I might be able to do that real quick. I just don't want to waste up too much time with all these different tests we got to do. So, that's a 5,000 right there. Let's switch it out. Give me a second. I'm going to put the phone down. Okay. Now that's what the 16 pills on. Okay, four pills still on. 5,000 watt slug up there. So we're reading the middle scale. As you see, about almost 1,700 dead key. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Get a little back up there so that's not really that great uh, per se for what I'm in here doing so I'm gonna back the dead key down some to where I normally run this at because I should have thought about that before we did all this so we'll run it right about there oh uh, yeah oh uh, yeah so about 1450 with some forward swing okay and that's uh So as you see, that's our voltages. We'll be back with the next ones. All right, back to the testing. Now, I've reconfigured the box. Um, same scenario as before, radio going in, Gazy's going into uh, the four pill. We got the Dave Made style transformers in it. 2,500 watt slug, that's on peak. Our voltages are still at 14.8, okay? This is the 1,000 watt slug. The only change that I did do in here on my meters is I went ahead and hooked up a third bird meter with a 5,000 watt slug up there for the 16. That way I'm not wasting time, you know, when I turn the 16 on to uh, drive the 4 into it. But initially this is what we got. Same dead key, 180. Oh, uh, yeah. So a good uh, solid 290, flipping up to about 300. Peak, uh, almost 800 on the peak end of it. So we got almost 800 out of it. Um, now, what we're going to do is I'm going to flip on the 16.
So we get the same 5,000 watt slug in there. Oh, yeah. So, actually, we're taking a little too high. Should have been right about there. Oh, yeah. So, it's about a good 1,500 voltages. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there you go. So, that's as a different uh, set of transformers as a driver. We'll be back. All right, next video on the transformer exchange tests. Same four pill, same DEIs. We're at the two inch transformers now. I mean, it's not pretty sight, but we're just testing. I just threw shit in there. Got it tuned out. 14 volts. Peak. 1,000 watt bird slug. 5,000. Back at her 180. Just the radio going into it. Oh, yeah. 350 bird. Oh, yeah. About 825 on the peak end. Next one is the last set of transformers, and we'll be back. 